Should you upgrade your software right away or wait? Hi, I'm Lori from LoriThayer.com and these days there are constantly updates to our software. So whether it's the new iOS 8 for your iPhone or the new operating system for your Mac, your PC, or just an, an update to your favorite app, um, you might have the question of should I do this right away or should I hold off? Well, definitely if you want to be an early adopter and get in and see what's happening, what's new with the app and see it right away, you want to update right away. But you're taking some risks if you do that. A lot of times companies don't necessarily do the testing that they should. So you may find you get an app that has a bug and it may not work for you for a little while. The good news is, is if this is a really popular app and commonly used, it's going to get fixed pretty quick. So for example, I chose to update my iPhone operating system to the new iOS 8 recently on the first day, within 24 hours after it was released, where most people I know prefer to wait at least a few days for any bugs to shake out. Now I didn't have any issues with the operating system, the new operating system for my iPhone, but one of the apps that I updated um, was actually Audible. So I listened to audiobooks on Audible and I was we were going on a trip that afternoon and I was loading up audiobooks. So I did that, but then I updated that phone and that app quit work. It didn't work. It would crash immediately. And so I could see all the reviews in the app store for people and it's like, oh don't do this, it's bad. And then so they even were saying it don't download this update. But of course I had already applied it on some of my devices. So make sure if you are updating right away, look for what the reviews are for that new version. Now there might not be anybody any yet, but if you wait a little while, half hour, an hour, if it's a popular app, you're probably gonna get reviews. Now the other good thing is the Audible is a very popular app. So they had the next version, um, which had this, this thing fixed within I think it was 24 hours. It might have been 24 to 36 hours. So they fixed it pretty quick, you know. But it was it was kind of a pain. There were, definitely, I couldn't use it where I wanted to, and I had to do some moving around. But the the good thing is, is you kind of get to get in and try something out and kind of be that beta tester, that early adopter, and that can be a lot of fun. And especially if you want to learn what's going on and share the information with other people. So kind of take the good with the bad. I would suggest the majority of people want to at least wait a couple days, especially for something big like an operating system. You might even want to wait a couple of weeks for just the major things to, to shake out. And you might also want to have an idea what the reviews are, wait a little bit, and know how good this service is for that app. For the customer service, like do they get, if there's an issue, do they get on it right away? Um, if it's not a, a popular app, and there's a bug, it could be a while and you could, it can be really difficult to go back sometimes with your software to a previous version. So you might want to exercise a little caution unless you're just willing to not be able to use your app. <laughs> so there you go. Let me know, what do you think? Are you going to be an early adopter with the next operating system or app update or are you going to wait a little while? Share with me in the comments below. And for more great tips on how to be more productive in your life so that you can enjoy life a little bit more and do less work, visit me at lauriethayer.com.